Meet Sparrow, NASA's cutting-edge steampunk robot concept that may help humanity probe the solar system's icy moons. NASA says it might use a steam-powered hopping robot to explore the icy terrain of Jupiter's moon Europa and Saturn's moon Enceladus. According to the agency's news release, the conceptual robot called Sparrow will feature avionics, instruments and thrusters inside a spherical protective shell which is about the size of a soccer ball. The lander will transfer ice to the robot in situ, then the hopper will heat the substance into steam and use the gas to jump over great distances of the surface crust. The Sparrow concept will navigate Europa's meter-high blades of ice that would stop other robots cold. After taking samples, the robot will then return to the lander for collection. While the steam-powered bot seems an unconventional choice, NASA says the Sparrow has total terrain agnosticism and low gravity will make jumping easier. Sparrow is still in development and NASA currently says it will launch a mission on Europa in the mid-2020s. Why the hurry to get to a bunch of barren moons? Well, because they are really weird and there might be alien life on those dirty chunks of ice. Scientists may have finally solved the mystery of the tiger stripes on Saturn's moon Enceladus. According to a study published in Nature Astronomy, the Cassini probe first detected the four strange fractures on the moon's north pole when the spacecraft orbited around Saturn 15 years ago. According to the researchers, the tiger stripes are about 130 kilometers long, with fracture lines running parallel to one another, spaced at 35 kilometers apart. Lead author Doug Hemingway at the Carnegie Institute for Science says that the fissures constantly blow out water and ice, unlike any other formation known to exist on icy moons. According to the research team, the tiger stripes and the formation's strange behavior is caused by the moon's eccentric orbit around Saturn. Because Enceladus's distance to Saturn fluctuates, planetary gravity stretches and flexes the moon. This effect generates the heat that keeps Enceladus from freezing solid. The gravitational force is so powerful that it changes the shape of the moon, with the resulting stress creating the first tiger stripe on Enceladus. As the moon's surface ocean erupts through the fissure, the jets of water then freeze and fall back on the moon. The weight of the accumulated ice and snow puts pressure on the nearby ice sheet and breaks the crust on parallel lines. Those fractures become the moon's stripes. New research from NASA suggests that the vast oceans found on moons orbiting Saturn and Jupiter could support microorganic life. On Enceladus, Saturn's sixth largest moon, the Cassini spacecraft found evidence of hydrogen gas during a deep dive through a water plume in October of 2016. Hydrogen and other chemical elements along with water and energy are key for supporting life. Scientists suspect this points to the possibility of microbial life existing on Enceladus. Separate but similar research concerning water plume eruptions from Europa, the fourth largest of Jupiter's moons, may also point to life there. The Hubble Space Telescope observed eruptions from a warm area on Europa twice in a two-year period, each higher than the last. NASA will investigate this thermal activity further in the 2020s, when the Europa Clipper spacecraft is launched. NASA has announced plans to launch the Europa Clipper space mission to examine Jupiter's icy moon Europa by 2025. According to the U.S. Space Agency's website, the mission aims to identify whether or not life could exist on Europa. The Europa Clipper spacecraft will orbit around Jupiter and make 45 flybys to Europa from altitudes ranging from 25 kilometers to 2,700 kilometers above the moon's surface. The Europa Clipper mission will consist of a Europa Clipper spacecraft that would carry instruments such as an ice-penetrating radar to determine the thickness of the moon's outer crust. A thermal instrument will also be carried on board to search for recent eruptions of warmer water on the moon's surface. The ice-penetrating radar will also look for subsurface lakes underneath Europa's frozen surface. In 2012, NASA's Hubble Space Telescope detected water vapor above Europa's south polar region, providing strong evidence that there could be water plumes and potentially a subsurface ocean on Europa. 
The mission will also search for evidence of tiny particles and water in Europa's atmosphere. Cameras and spectrometers are to be taken on board to take images of Europa's surface and to determine its composition. According to NASA, the space agency is targeting to have the Europa Clipper spacecraft ready as soon as 2023, in order for the mission to be cost-effective. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.